So season four of BSD finished recently, and to prep for season five, I'd like to do a deep dive into a definitely very relevant topic. What the hell is going on with the Tanizakis? Now, the first thought you might have when looking at these two is, and you aren't wrong. They certainly don't look like siblings, and the way they act, there's no way they are actually related, right? Long story short, I don't want one of my favorite series to have an incest plot, so I'm going to do my best to prove to you that they are not related. And then I'm never going to think about this ever again. <laughs> Let's start with the information directly provided in BSD, which is basically nothing. Seriously, we know nothing about these two. Nothing about personal information, their parents, tragic pasts, or anything about how and why they work for the agency. All we do know is that they are allegedly siblings, and that they were students before they came to work at the agency. Honestly, that's on me for trying to write a theory about characters who have collectively had 12 minutes of screen time, so dead end there. Then how about more general clues from the series? First off, appearance. They don't look even remotely similar. Orange hair and black hair, brownish eyes, and I guess grey eyes? I really can't tell. Now this could just be an anime character design kind of thing, but the other siblings in the series do actually look similar. A good example is the Akutagawa siblings, a brother-sister pair who you can easily tell are related. Even siblings who don't look identical still look similar, such as the Tachihara siblings. If you ask someone to guess which of the BSD cast were siblings, I'm sure this would be the last pair ever put together. Surely the polar opposite designs are a hint to us that something is amiss. The second clue and the reason I'm making this video is their behaviour. Just look at it. Do I even have to explain how horrendous this is? Sibling relationships in anime do have a tendency to be inaccurate, but this is taking things to a whole new level and that level is incest. Again, you could argue this is just an anime thing, but BSD has nearly no fan service or sexual content of any kind, so the Tanizaki's behaviour stands out as odd both morally and writing-wise. Once again showing us, the audience, that their relationship is more than we think. The third clue is a little weak, but it's something I'd like to mention. I've watched the anime a couple times now and read the manga and novels, and from what I remember, Junichiro has never once referred to Naomi as his sister. Naomi is the only one who uses words like brother and siblings. I'm not 100% confident on this as there are many translations out there, but in the versions of the subbed anime and manga that I have, Junichiro doesn't say sibling or sister once. This could also be because in Japanese culture, the older sibling usually refers to their younger sibling by name, and the younger one uses words like brother or sister. But for Junichiro to never call Naomi his sibling once is still odd, right? So here we are. We have been through everything we know about the Tanizakis, and all we have to show for it are a few inconclusive bits of evidence that prove there might be something weird about their relationship. Surely there has to be something else. Some evidence that I have yet to explore. Some evidence that will definitely define their relationship. And well, there is. To begin, I would like to point out a detail from the series. Most of the characters, both name and some traits, are based on a real life author. Keeping this in mind, we should be able to get more information about a character by looking at the real person they are based on. We know Junichiro is based on the real Japanese author Junichiro Tanizaki, so who is Naomi based on? Well, this is where things start to get interesting. Naomi is one of the only characters in the series not named after an author, but a character from a book. Her name comes from Naomi, a character in the novel Naomi by author Junichiro Tanizaki. Naturally, the next step is to read the novel and try to find any evidence that they are or are not actually siblings. The novel follows the story of our protagonist, Joji. Joji is a 28-year-old Japanese, well-educated electrical engineer with an interest in Western culture. One day, in a cafe, he meets a waitress with a Western-sounding name and appearance, Naomi, and wishes to make her his perfect wife. Naomi, a 15-year-old cafe waitress, moves in with Joji and is educated on Western culture, ideas, and the English language. Over the years, Joji raises Naomi into his ideal Western wife, eventually leading to the two of them getting married. However, Naomi is not as naive or impressionable as Joji thinks she is. Naomi is able to manipulate Joji to do what she wants, and Joji willingly entertains her every wish, until eventually Naomi holds all the power in their relationship. The book ends with Naomi having complete control, but Joji still being satisfied in a sort of masochistic way. Yep, that is super creepy and weird and bad, and I hope to god the Tanizaki's relationship isn't actually anything like this. They can't have an age gap any bigger than three years, so I'm going to use that as evidence to say their relationship is not as creepy as in the novel, but the power dynamic between them does line up, with Naomi being the louder, more leading one, and Junichiro being timid and letting her do what she wants. So we can assume that their relationship does reflect some of the book, just not the completely illegal parts. Okay, so the Tanizaki's relationship dynamic sort of resembles that of a relationship in a novel the characters happen to be named after. How is this definitive evidence, you ask? 
Well, you see, there is a small detail in the book I haven't mentioned until now. When Joji and Naomi got married, they moved to a new town. Naomi, naturally, wanted to hide the true nature of her and Joji's relationship. To do this, she would introduce Joji to people by saying he was her cousin. The author of BSD, Kafka Asagiri, clearly has an immense knowledge of classic literature. In my mind, there is absolutely no way that him creating the characters Junichiro and Naomi, naming them after the author and character in the specific book, and giving them such a strange relationship is purely coincidental. It's clear that Asagiri has done this on purpose to make us theorize about them and to explore the different inspirations for his work. Though not gonna lie, for a second there I was thinking he just had a thing for incest. So there we have it, folk. The Tanizakis aren't actually a way too close brother and sister, but a couple hiding their relationship by telling everyone they are siblings. I feel like this opens up more questions about them though. Like why bother doing this? But that's a video for another day. Thank you for your time.